integrations in Microsoft Word 2007, 2010, or a similar word processing program. You're looking at an excerpt from a paper on Hmong Storycloth and its role in traditional Hmong culture. To insert an illustration to accompany the text, first go to the Insert menu. A number of options appear. You can insert a picture, clip art, shapes, a piece of smart art, a chart, or a screenshot if you've just used Word's screenshot function. In this case, we'll insert a picture. In the dialog box that appears, we locate the file we have on our computer, select it, and it's automatically added to the document. Now that the image is in the document, we first want to resize it, if necessary. By left-clicking the corner of the illustration and holding down the Shift key, we can resize the photo in proportion, which means to maintain its aspect ratio without distorting it. Once we've resized the picture, if we look at the top ribbon under Picture Tools Format, you will see other options appear. The first one we want to use is Wrap Text which will enable us to move the image around on the page. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the wrap text and select Square. Now you can move the picture in the document to determine what text wrapping best suits your design needs. As you move the image, notice that the text wraps accordingly. Left or right, top or bottom. Other adjustments include brightness, contrast, drop shadows to give the image more perspective, and borders to make the image more distinct. Finally, now that your image is in your document, be sure to provide commentary about the image's relationship to the point you wish to make. In academic writing, images are rarely for decoration, but rather should play a role in the clarifying of the writer's point.